I think we're still at war. Our relationship with the Canadian government is not a peaceful, loving relationship. It's one of manipulation and war. Whether they uh, choose to acknowledge it or other people choose to acknowledge it, that's, that's where we are, I think. But... When I decided to start painting, um, I wanted to like I wanted to have a new persona, so I named myself Chippewa. That's being from Chippewa the Thames, but um, it's you know a play on words: Chippewa, Chippewa warrior, uh, Chippewa war. I mean, cultural appropriation right now is like it's in the media um, because of the Washington Redskins and these sports teams, you know, Cleveland Indians um, using these logos. I mean, when you actually think about it, they are racist. They're not a positive image of, of Native people, of First Nations people at all. Some Aboriginal groups consider the Redskins' name racist. Cleveland's name isn't all that's been offending people. Several other major sports franchises have had their Indigenous-inspired names and logos called out as culturally insensitive. Oh, oh, racist symbols got to go! The Hollywood Indians have always been portrayed as the monster, and I thought by taking necessarily European stories, I guess, and giving them an indigenous twist. I felt like it's a reverse cultural appropriation. There's the Bride of Franken Sioux, Last Brave on Earth, Invisible Warrior, Tribe of Dracula, Franken Sioux, Chief Werewolf, The Curse of the Cayuga, and Phantom of the Pow Wow are all pieces um, in my indigenous movie monster series. I think it's a way to also kind of reclaim some of our stories and reclaim some of our identity. And I think it was also just to tell um, a story of how we would have evolved as filmmakers and storytellers to almost make them like they're our original stories. And because in a lot of ways they are. The original painting for this one here is actually, uh, this is called Revenge from the Grave. And it's actually uh, the original painting of it I'm still working on is uh, John Wayne is being scalped, which I think is fair. It's happened to me where I've been at like trade shows or like markets and people come up and uh, non-native people will say to me like, is it okay that I, I wear a shirt like this? I'm not native. And I said, well, well, absolutely. I think one, you're supporting indigenous business. You're supporting entre uh, my entrepreneurship and you're supporting my artwork. Um, and I'll explain to him it's wrong when it's someone like Kanye West who is just jacking it for the sake of style with no respect of where, what the imagery means or what, where it comes from. I try to, as much as I can, when I meet people, make sure they understand it's okay to wear my stuff and it's okay to support my brand because you are supporting it from a legitimate source.